no matter what it is in this company, I've found that uh, if the challenge comes, they figure out a way to get it done for the client. Uh, it's always impressed me since I've started here. of coke drums number one and two. The load is fairly significantly high. It's 11.3 uh, meters high. Every bridge has been inspected individually and we have eliminated as many risks as we can foresee. Coke drum number two is gonna be on channel number two. Lionel and myself will be talking to each other via the mic phones. The goal is to transport these units uh, 560 kilometers uh, from Edmonton here to Fort McMurray. We've had many meetings uh, with Mammut and uh, been told about it actually probably uh, over a year in advance. We knew they were coming. Everybody knows where they're supposed to be. Our aerial lines are, are up in that vicinity, if not lower. Uh, we've taken lots of precautions. Uh, we're going to be de-energizing some of it. Uh, we're going to be lifting some of it. And uh, basically everything should go good that way. Some of the key points in this transportation has been the coordination that's been brought together to, with all of the utility companies and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a major coordination with third parties and in, within their own organization. Mahmood has planned this whole project right from the beginning and they have executed everything exactly the way they said it how they would do it. Uh, we've been working hand in hand with uh, Mahmood. Uh, their uh, ultimate goal is uh, safety of uh, uh, their employees and safety of the public. Uh, The general scope of the project is to uh, transport four coke drums uh, weighing in at about 950,000 pounds, uh, 430,000 kilograms uh, from Edmonton uh, in Alberta to CNRL site north of Fort McMurray. The industry involved with this project is petrochemical. Um, CNRL is doing a approximately $10 billion plant uh, for tar sand uh, oil. Looking good, Chris. You can come over there and follow him in here. Nothing on the right to bother you. We're going to leave it in the air. We're all done for today. Yes, that's it. Well, we made it. Good day. Uh, special equipment for this one, we've got double 10-line road-style trailers, uh, Shirley trailers, the hydraulic platform trailers. Um, the saddles and turntables have all been specially fabricated uh, for this move. We've uh, fabricated two pairs of everything. 
uh, for both uh, cokers to move at one time. Uh, we've got our prime movers, 550 horsepower, Kenworth and Western Stars. The highway is good. It's a long distance, but it, there's not too much, uh, as you can see, it's pretty open out here. But the bridges, the bridges have all been engineered. Uh, we're standing right here in front of one, and uh, that's the critical thing. I like this one here. Uh, what, what we usually do before the, the load actually crosses, we do a lot of um, load evaluating. So we do a lot of load evaluation prior to um, the load crossing the bridges. So, um, you know, if there is, if we feel that the, uh, the bridge is not significantly strong enough, we, uh, we, we strengthen it. They asked us to stay to that side because this is a little bit weaker this side. Everything kind of leans a bit. Some of the biggest challenges for this one are schedule. Uh, to move four loads of this size in one season uh, is big. Uh, the other challenge is to come out of the city of Edmonton uh, with two of them at one time, uh, which we've accomplished last Friday night, we did. Try to make it to uh, two hills today, and uh, it's going to be an exciting day. Everything looks good, the modules are out, and uh, it's all uh, up to us now. So, uh, good, very good. Look, I'm down here. Keep an eye on your trailers there. I think our history of moving large loads in the province, uh, our professionalism of our crews, uh, probably the biggest factors. Um, we have quite a history in the last few years uh, locally of moving uh, many, many oversized loads without incidents, um, which our client definitely likes. And uh, I think that was probably one of the major things uh, in choosing a carrier for these loads. <laughs> top-notch guys and uh, everybody's uh, doing their part and everybody knows their role. Uh, I don't see how it could fail. Supertest, dat is een uh, stijging in de weg van uh, ongeveer 12%. Uh, die uitgestrekt is over een uh, lengte van uh, ongeveer 3 kilometer. En dat is de grootste klim die wij op onze transportroute tegengekomen zijn. 
deze heuvel heeft de bijnaam Supertest gekregen. Uh, omdat dit de test is of het equipment goed en sterk genoeg is uh, om, om hier naar boven te komen. Als je de Supertest opkomt, dan kan je de rest van de route uh, ook volbrengen. Yeah, you bet. He's just gonna let these couple come by here, right? When we're over to the left, as far as we're gonna go, and I can start sending traffic. Yeah, you bet. We're already back there, Chris Cross. Everybody's in the trash. We're ready to roll, dude. So Ik denk dat een van de, van de beweegredenen geweest is om uh, Mammoet te kiezen is dat wij toch uh, over het algemeen een totaal pakket aanbieden. Uh, en niet alleen het transport, maar we leveren hier bijvoorbeeld ook de kraan om deze kookdrums te plaatsen. En al het uh, ondersteunend materieel wordt ook door Mammoet geleverd. The, the last coke drum, which was the fourth one, from the horizontal to the vertical position. Uh, we sat it over onto the, uh, the mat to remove the tail end frame. That procedure took about three hours. Once the tail end frame was removed, they lift the coke drum from the mat into the coke structure, which took about an hour and a half. The unique thing about this job, one of the reasons that Mammut was awarded this job, this particular crane, the, um, the PDC, it's set up on an 80-foot ring. Uh, the competitors would have to use a completely different crane, which took up a lot more area and sterilized a lot of equipment. The PDC can actually set all of the, all of the equipment from one spot without moving. That's the unique thing about the size of the PDC. This lift actually took two hours, but the planning to do this took over two years. What really sticks in my mind is uh, the coke drum was coming around the corner and the PEC was booming up. And that's always like that in the Mammoth world. That's the way we do business. Mammut in general is... Groot, uh, spectacular, uh, mooi. They're, they're very, very efficient. Good, safe company to work with. We'll always succeed. They're a great bunch of guys to work with. Anything is possible. Mahmood is an extremely impressive company and they have really brought this together well. Moved by Mahmood. In fact, he said, you did a great job. I said, no, Mahmoud did a great job and I'm proud to be part of that organization.